Hey everyone, I put together this quick slideshow that's hopefully going to help you to be able to better identify and understand these certain sentence components. And I'm going to briefly, hopefully briefly for you, review nouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, articles, pronouns, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections. So first we're going to start with nouns. A noun is used to signify a person, like my sister, your sister, you, me, your mom, your dad, your teacher, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt, your best friend, all of these people. A noun is also used to signify a place, like your home, a bank, a school, a church, an office, a salon, a castle, or more. And a noun is also used to signify things, like toys, shoes, hats, bottles, instruments, pens, pencils, forks, phones, and more. I'm sure you can think of a ton more. And then we have verbs. Verbs convey an action. So I have a picture here of a dog. His name's Legolas, and he's yawning. So the sentence I have is, the dog yawns. Yawning is the action that the dog is doing, and so that's our verb. I also have this picture of my cat who's asleep, and so the sentence is, the cat sleeps. The action that the cat is doing is sleeping. Adverbs. An adverb answers the question, how, when, in what way, or where. Adverbs usually end in ly, like quickly, or hastily, or gleefully. So an example of an adverb is, the carrot smiled gleefully. In this case, we're answering the question, how did the carrot smile? Gleefully. So gleefully would be our adverb. Adjectives. An adjective is used to make a creative description or to make a comparison. So the example that we have is the sentence, this rose is beautiful. So we're describing the rose in a creative way by using the word beautiful, which turns the word beautiful into an adjective. An article is a word combined with a noun that helps indicate the type of reference being made by the noun. So for example, we have the sentence, give me an apple. An is the article signifying that it's a singular apple. In the next sentence, we have give me some apples. Some becomes the article signifying multiple apples. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. This is a sentence about my friend Cam in this picture without using any pronouns. Sorry, that would be my phone. Sorry about that. As I was saying, this is a picture of my friend Cam. And this is a sentence about my friend Cam without pronouns. I like Cam and the way Cam sings and how Cam plays guitar. Now with pronouns, this is how the sentence goes. I like Cam and the way he sings and how he plays guitar. The word he is our pronoun taking place of Cam, who is a, I guess he's a proper noun. And then we have conjunctions. A conjunction is the part of speech that connects two words, phrases, or clauses together. And these are the common conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And you can see I've highlighted the first word, or the first letter of each word, um, and it spells out fanboys, which is a mnemonic device to help you remember. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And then we have a preposition. A preposition introduces a prepositional phrase and indicates a relationship between two things mentioned in a sentence. In this example, I have my friend Matt, and he stands on the rock. So he and the rock are the two things that have a relationship. On is the preposition, and on the rock is the prepositional phrase. And then we have interject interjections, which are exclamations made to express a strong emotion, like, hey, ouch, stop. Dang, yikes, hooray, and sweet, as in sweet, this slide is totally over. Thanks, guys.